Death Note is one of the greatest shows of all time, and I almost never watched it. Now I know what you're saying, what's going on in your head, it's, whoa, Caleb, what happened to your hair? And yes, I did cut off a lot of it, and uh, I it looks better in my opinion, and uh, it's not as hot. But you know, when I take the hair off, you might see that like, it's, it's extra poofy because I forgot to put conditioner in it and I kind of look like an old lady so I'm gonna put this back on the stubble doesn't help me look not like an old lady either so back when I was a ute probably still of the upper age bracket of my viewers uh, I watched the first episode of Death Note ever and I watched it in, in English if anyone is wondering that tends to be my my thing um, and I watched the first episode and I didn't really like it. You know, it, it, they're just throwing a lot at you that you just had to catch uh, for the first episode. You know, if you just take the first episode for for what it is, and and you don't know anything else, I didn't I didn't like it, and I I didn't touch it. Probably a year goes by, and then my cousin. Tim, who you've seen on the show before, on, the, on this channel, who reviews sh all the shows I've watched with me. Uh, when we get to this, we'll dive deeper into my actual thoughts of the show. But he watched it and said, dude, you gotta watch this. And I just really didn't want to, but there was an alternative, and that was the Netflix adaptation. And I, I was like, okay, I mean, I'm going to get the gist of it at least, and I, I watched it, and I liked it. <laughs> you know, funny enough, I actually really liked that movie when I watched it, and that was good enough for me for the longest time, up until about a year ago, well, last year, it wasn't a year ago though, uh, I watched the actual show. I decided to actually watch Death Note because there was nothing else to watch. And I was house-sitting for my sister, and I, I just got done watching well, uh, Helsing. I just got done watching Helsing and Helsing Ultimate, and I decided, you know what, this, I kind of like that. I, I'll, I'll give Death Note one, one more shot. And, oh boy, I, I, I didn't watch the first episode, it started with two. And I was hooked immediately. I loved that show. It is one of my favorite shows of all time. It, it just is. Be on the lookout for the rating anime uh, tier list when it comes out. Because it will be on the next one. Oh, I love that show. Oh, I, I've seen it, I think, three times all the way through in since I watched it. And that was, I don't know, six months ago <laughs> for the first time. However... My roommate and I decided, for some reason, to watch Death Note, the live action, again, to see how it stacks up for me, and then he got to see it for the first time, and... Ooh, no. <laughs> I wrote no goodo <laughs> next, to, next to the bullet point of rewatching it. For those of you who don't know, it is a live-action remake that takes place in Seattle for some reason. I'm not too picky. I used to be, but I, I'm not too picky about, like, characters being race-swapped or or even gender-swapped all, all that much, as long as you can still get the story across and the characters and the actors can convey that and the writing can convey it. Ooh, but the story was so bad. <laughs> it was so bad. Um, light was completely changed. Copix from the future here. I'm editing the video, and rather than re-record the whole thing, I realized I wasn't really able to accurately describe what I meant. And what I mean is that the writers of so many shows, including this one, movies I should say, I say shows when I mean movie, 
writers of so many movies don't know how to write nerdy kids. They're all pushovers who think that they're smart and their their ways of being smart is <laughs> uh, you, 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 you're, you're just insecure about yourself and, and I know it, yeah, don't hit me, my glasses. I mean, they're all, <laughs> they're Stan, no, what is it, Kyle's cousin <laughs> from South Park. I don't even know, this, the, the inability to write smart characters completely undermines what makes Death Note a great show. What makes it amazing is a cat and mouse who's, who outwits who. It is that tension that is the whole appeal of this show, and it is completely lost by Light not being creative with the Death Note, and the fact that he isn't shown to be smart at all other than like book smart, not actually intelligent. So that's really what I wanted to say. Hopefully I don't have to turn this back on and uh, re-record this or something. He's gonna use the Death Note to make the world a better place. A better place. And he's the, uh, he's calm and collected and meticulous. And that is not what is shown by Light in this show. He's just kind of a guy who's like, I don't know, I'll just start writing names down. And then L comes into the show. L comes in, and for those of you who don't know, he's race swapped, and I really don't care. Actually, I thought in the beginning of the movie, the actor, let me look up the actor. I'm gonna have to delete my search history after this. <laughs> just having even looked up this film, Lakeith Stanfield. And apparently it does kind of have brackets around L. It says, as Keith Stanfield. So I assume that he had his own input as to how L should be. And L was, was really great in the beginning of the film. Uh, I mean, I guess calling it a film is a bit more credit than I should be giving it. But L starts off great. He's particular. He's, uh, he, he's very matter of fact as he says things but then after we hit like the halfway point and stuff is starting to crumble for l it just crumbles for everybody and all the characters that we just saw and ha saw how they act and everything goes completely out the window l has a gun instead of misa there's mia his girlfriend and mia's just yeah, an actual crazy person and light doesn't do anything that's creative until the end of the movie which was cool to see it's just that you had to trudge through the entire thing before you saw something that had any sort of thought into it when it came to these deaths and honestly I didn't really care too much about having a whole bunch of rules as opposed to 13 which I think it was 13 after the two fake ones but there are, there are directorial changes that I was on board with, and it still was horrible, absolutely horrible, when I when I rewatched this, and so I I just wanted to let you know that this this is my post facto opinions on the movie after I have already seen the show. Like I said, before I watched the show, I really liked the movie and was like, oh, I don't need to watch Death Note now. Wrong. If you're like that, go watch the show. Yeah, you have to trudge through the first episode, which is kind of like, it's just filled with stuff and the pacing is weird in the first episode. But once you get to the second episode, it's amazing. It's amazing. You should watch it. Absolutely recommend it. And I won't give you the rating now because that will be in another episode. Let's just rewatch this. Oh yeah, and I just hated the uh, the high school aspect of this. I just I don't like anything that's like, oh my gosh, guys, it's a high school. It is gonna take place in a high school. Just I don't. That's that's one of the things that I hated most about the uh, Dragon Ball Evolution was that it had to do with high school. Ugh. It's not like high school was the worst for, for me. It's not like personal trauma. It's just cringe. <laughs> However, the the shining factor of this movie was Ryuk. 
Ryuk was different, but I liked it. I don't prefer it, but I liked it. And it was cast perfectly. Man. Man, it was great. Willem Dafoe. Mm. Chef's kiss. No one else could have played, could have played him. Absolutely no one else. Uh, Watari, I know they took Watari and they tried to make, you know, they made him Japanese. But I was pretty sure that Watari was, I thought he was British. Yeah, it was, it was some, something, something, something. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I'm several years late to this. Um, six years, maybe? 2017, 18, 19, 20. Yeah. I'm about six years late to this video, but I wasn't someone who saw Death Note yet at that time, so I couldn't make that video, so I hope you enjoy it now. Anyway, be sure to hit the like button, because that means a lot, and then check out Patreon, maybe? Then I could make these more regularly, as opposed to waiting until I get home and then having to edit them. <laughs> It would be so much easier for you and me. You and, you and me. Check check out check out Patreon, please, please, please. Thank you for watching. Peace. Whew.